<laughs> Thank you, friend on Facebook, who I've just been discussing this with, and it all became crystal fucking clear. Yes, I'm going to stick my neck out here, as usual with my arrest of March the 24th. Um, there was something, well, just not quite right. Listen, guys, the, the moral of this story, the thing to this story, not the moral of the story, the thing to this story is, basically, if there's too many unanswered questions, it's fucking bent. <laughs> This is what I've experienced for the last seven years, I think. Basically refusing to answer questions, not answering your letters. Um, obviously all the threatening behaviour and everything I've had from them. Police council, you name it. Um, yes. I rather suspect, because obviously this has been on my mind for five or six months. Five months, last Thursday. Um, that the arrest, the arrest of March 24th was an unlogged visit. Rather like when they rushed round to back up their bent bailiff mate, Chris Green. Who doesn't like to talk to people, he just hands a card to your flatmate going... Well, he better pay or he's going to jail me. Because I'm in charge. Yes, the bailiffs are in charge of the police. The bailiffs are in charge of the council. Whenever the council and the police have a problem, they go to the bailiff and they go, what do we do? I've done the council file out and I'm going to go through it. Because um, it gets so messed up when I break communication, so I'll just stuff things back in, you know, wherever. So over time it gets all disorganised and stuff. Um, so I have to dig out occasionally and reorganise it. And I just remembered, I'm going to have to try and find it. Um, there was a letter from one of the coppers, some sergeant or something. This is, this is going back probably four years. Um, and they decided to have a go. <laughs> This is supposed to be an official police report, investigation into the police, you know, by the police, obviously. Um, this is supposed to be like an official sort of clarifying fact-finding report. And they decided to start having to go at me <laughs> in the middle of this thing. There are, there's three videos on it on the channel. I think the first one is called Who Decided What Now? And then there's, there's two more after that, which goes through that whole letter. Um... But they, they decided that hardly anyone watches my YouTube channel. <laughs> I do believe they may even have said thankfully, which thankfully hardly anyone watches, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, to be honest. Um... 353 subscribers. That's to the copper who said that, thankfully, hardly anyone watched my YouTube channel. Fuck you, asshole. I could do a bit of a Swartzy nigger there, couldn't I? Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> um, yes, I do believe that's where we're at. I do believe the visit of March the 24th was an unlogged visit. It was certainly an unlogged phone call which tricked me into being at home, so this would seem to make sense. Mm. Yes, Cambridge Police, you bunch of devious, fuckwit, lying, thieving bastards! Where's my fucking phone?! You fucktards! I say, but I say, boy, I say, boy, you ain't never gonna be no chicken hog, boy.
Interesting point. Right, I went to, um, I've, I've actually applied for a dating show. I'm not going to say the name, but um, I went to get my, it needed a recent picture. And I tried to get one off my laptop, but they weren't really any good. So I went to one of these photo booth things that you do your passport photographs at. <laughs> They're fucking amazing, right? You can have photographs for uh, visa applications. You can have photographs for the passport. You can do these sort of fun photographs with like Snapchat filters, you know, the funny noses and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I didn't fucking realise. Many, many, many years ago, back in the day. <laughs> when you went to... It was just for a passport, wasn't it? And you paid however much it was. I can't remember. Quid, probably. I don't know. One pound, maybe? Are you talking about fucking ten years ago when I last used these things? Um, and you just got four little facial photographs in a square thing and you had to cut the, you know. Fucking amazing. I'm like a computer now. <laughs> anyway, I shall see you all there. I'm just going to watch this one back. <laughs> <First>. <laughs>